everyone, Kibi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video doing a full review on the AOSP Jelly Bean 4.1.1 ROM on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic 4G Touch. This is built from source. Um, it does have some added things from CM10, I believe, as well. Uh, but I do have a video showing you how to install this ROM if you want to check that out. I will link to that in the description of the video. This video is as of August 28th, that's when I'm making the video, so this is the latest build then. Um, does not have too many bugs, the only bugs that I really know about, the only main ones, is the camcorder effects will cause a forced close, and I believe uh, you can't update your PRL or profile in the settings menu, so Sprint System Updates, he says that this update may not work but that's really no big deal because normally you can't update it anyways in a um, AOSP based ROM. So this ROM is AOSP, so it is built from source code. Huge shout out to S. Brisson, so be sure to go thank him. I can link to his ROM thread in the description. But otherwise, let's go over some more CM10 features. You are, it is alpha, so you still are going to run into some bugs, but I mean, this is definitely a daily driver from what I hear, everything, GPS, all the main stuff works. GPS, picture messaging, text messaging, 3G, 4G. Um, again, so pretty much everything does work. I am on Wi-Fi. My number is on my Epic 4G Touch at the moment. Anyways, let's go ahead and check things out. So first of all, lock screen wise, you do have the stock Jelly Bean lock screen. Obviously you can get unlock, go to Google Now, or go to the camera application. Let's go straight to the camera application to start. I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of this pen right here. So if I wanted to take a picture of this pen, I can just go ahead and obviously tap the button and it snaps a quick picture. I can keep taking pictures if I want to. If I wanna review the image I just took, I swipe from the right and I can view some of the pictures that I did take. And of course, swiping back to the left will open up the camera application again once I get to the end. So that's very cool. Obviously, I can tap on the right. I can zoom in and out, switch to the front-facing camera. Um, I can obviously do video recording as well. Again, uh, camcorder effects can cause a forced close, so keep that in mind if you are video recording. But you will see camera works fantastic. Uh, you, of course, as I said, also on the lock screen, you do have Google Now. I'll get to that in a second. But otherwise, I do want to jump into settings real quick. Scroll down, go to About Phone, and you will see it is on Android 4.1.1, which is, of course, Jelly Bean right there. Quickly tap on it, and there you go. So you will see you are on Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean. Uh, of course, Signage Mod 10, this is a build, I believe it's from August 24th. I think that's when the build was uh, compiled, if I have that correctly. But otherwise, let's go ahead and check out Google now. So I, don't, I haven't signed into my Google account yet, so none of the cards are going to show up. But uh, of course, I can tap on the Google and it will bring up a Google search right here. Or I can go straight from my lock screen if you'd like to do that. Swipe up, goes to Google Now. Again, cards aren't showing up because I'm not uh, signed into my Google account on this phone at the moment. But of course, I can say something like, what's the weather like in Arkansas? It's 28 degrees and clear in Little Rock. There you go. So it is in Celsius, so you're going to have to update that or change the settings if that happens. But uh, there, Little, Little Rock, Arkansas, 28 degrees and clear right now. So you'll see Google Now works awesome. Actually, what's funny is I just bought a new tripod and needed to convert inches to feet. Didn't feel like doing the math myself. So what I did was, how many feet is 65 inches? 65 inches is... 5.42 feet, 5 feet, 5 inches. There you go. So that is what, pretty much what I asked. I said that and it came up with that. So it was really handy because I really didn't feel like doing the math in my head. I had a long day at school today. So I uh, did not feel like doing that. So Google Now obviously works fantastic. Cards should show up if you are signed into your Google account as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, uh, go ahead and swipe down the notification bar. You will see you got some nice quick toggles up at the top that can be edited. You also can actually press and hold on them and it will take you straight into those settings. So again, I press and hold on the Wi-Fi. It took me straight into the Wi-Fi settings. If I wanted to go into my GPS settings, press and hold and it brings those up as well. So very cool. You do have your obviously stock dialer. You can swipe between uh, re call log and contacts as well. You will also notice with Project Butter, you got some awesome, and with Jelly Bean, you got some awesome animations when opening up applications. You will see very smooth, very quick. Um, 
it really no lag when opening up applications. Let's go ahead and try and load up a web page with this stock browser. Let's try AC AC Syndicate.net. Bam. Took me a little while. Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, so you'll see AC Syndicate.net loads on up. I am on my Wi Fi, of course. Uh, but yeah, it is very smooth, very quick, awesome. So that is working great. You will see browser is fantastic. I did see it say 4G works just fine, so you can go ahead and tap 4G. I believe you can tap that toggle. If not, you can go into settings and go to more, and you'll see 4G settings are right there. So you'll see it is disconnected. I'm not in a 4G area, so you can turn it on, on, and, on and off via that or this toggle up here. Um, and speaking of those toggles, you can edit them. Go back into the settings and you will see under interface, you have power, power widgets. So you'll see power widgets. You can change the amount of which buttons are on there, whether you want to go to sleep, media skip, toggle airplane mode, toggle brightness, uh, toggle LED flashlight. Uh, you can toggle mobile data, uh, orientation, and a bunch of other stuff as well. So uh, you will see those all got added up at the top here. So if I wanted to turn on my torch, I can. You just tap that toggle. And I believe they are scrollable. So you'll see I have orientation and data over there too. So you can scroll through there. You can also change the order of them. Just go to widget button order and you can change the order of whatever toggles you would like to, which is great. You can close the drawer on change, hide scroll bar, and haptic feedback as well. So very awesome that you can edit these power widgets. Uh, you also have themes. You can just search for CM10 in the Play Store and it should come up with some cool themes. You can try applying uh, on the fly, which works very well. Uh, you have advanced. Uh, be careful when messing with advanced. Uh, I mean, if you don't know what you're doing, don't mess with these advanced settings. Uh, but overall, that's really about it settings wise. Uh, so, I mean, you got themes and power widgets. Great that you can mess with those power widgets as uh, that's something that I love to have in my ROM, of course. App drawer wise, there's really no applications out of the ordinary. Of course, it's pre-rooted with super user. Uh, you've got your music application. Um, I mean, all your stock Google apps, calendar, gallery, email, calculator, uh, Play Store. But that's, that's really it though. I mean, obviously no bloatware whatsoever. Running stack jelly bean, there shouldn't be any bloatware at all, of course. Otherwise, some other cool applications, of course, you've got the stock messaging application with the jelly bean keyboard, so I can try and send a text. It's not gonna send, so I could say, hey there, how are you? And send it, and you will see it's not gonna send, but of course, very cool, you can attach files, make a call as well. Again, it's not gonna work, but no big deal there. So very nice messaging application. Make sure if you would like it to vibrate when you go into the messaging application, you can go to menu settings and then scroll down and under vibrate, hit always or only when silent because never is checked by default. So keep that in mind. I always get some questions saying, why isn't my phone vibrating when I get a text message? So you do have that option there. Other than that, that's just about it. Power menu wise, uh, you can press and hold, you got a reboot menu where you can hit reboot recovery or download mode. You also have screenshot and airplane mode. Also to take a screenshot, you can press and hold volume down and power at the same time. That'll go ahead and snap a screenshot for you. You will see the screenshot gets captured and you get a quick preview of it. This is what uh, your picture messaging looks like with Jelly Bean, it shows up a preview of it. You can pinch in on some notifications and minimize or maximize. That works with Gmail, um, some of your text messages as well. So it's very cool uh, and a very awesome feature of Jelly Bean. Um, so there, I can take a show up the image just by clicking on it in the notification bar. That's it, that's just about everything I wanted to show. So it's definitely now a daily driver, the AOSP Jelly Bean 4.1.1 ROM on your Sprint Samsung epic 4g touch let me know what you think be sure to leave a comment be sure to subscribe as well follow me on facebook twitter and google plus all links will be in the description of the video below and as always thanks for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up